Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm JD McDonald. And I'm Anthony Berkey, and this is your KWHS News. If you completed your applications with Pikes Peak on April 6th, remember they'll be back on Wednesday, April 26th, to help you select classes for the fall semester. Be sure to get those hall passes from the counseling office to attend college visits, and while you're there, check out other important college related information, such as scholarships and fun financial aid deadlines. Attention all students, the library will be closed today for testing, but remember, they need their books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near and the last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you'll receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 27 short school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email trujilloben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and have only seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Attention seniors, time is running out for you to buy a yearbook. For a limited time, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy this year's yearbook for $65, you can get one from a previous year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a yearbook in your freshman year, you can get a copy when you buy your senior yearbook, but only while supply lasts. It's a cool deal. If you are buying a yearbook for this year, those are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or to the business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Hey Anthony, what's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite kind of pie is the kind I can smush in someone's face. Well, you're in luck. Glad's the Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest this month to celebrate Earth Day and to help save trees. For only $1, you can buy a chance for the opportunity to have Mr. Elhoffer, Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth wear a pie for Earth Day. Buy your tickets now until April 14th from any environmental club member or go to room 204. Remember, the Earth Day Festival will be on Friday, April 21st, and that's when you can smash a pie in their face. And speaking of pie, Hey Anthony, I hear Miss Betsy is making a great lunch for us today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Wednesday everybody. We're having Super Nachos for lunch today. Hope to see you Thursday. There's a menu change and it's gonna we're gonna have pizza, homemade pizza. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your accounts. Now here's John with our sports update. Hey GLADS, it's Wednesday. I'm John Christofferson and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Attention all current and prospective volleyball players. Volleyball open gyms for all volleyball players not involved in spring sports are on Wednesdays from 3 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Get ready to bump, set, and spike your way through next year's season. Gentlemen, basketball open gym time is on Thursdays from 6 to 8 p.m. in Bowers Gym. If you are interested in playing basketball next year, come to the open gyms to refine your skills for next year. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for this Friday, April 14th. The early game starts at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. The 7 p.m. game will have a high school team of WHS and Mesa students take on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2, but wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each or $15 for $20. See Deputy Stevens for additional information. Here are some scores for Monday's and Tuesday's games. The ladies tennis team took on St. Mary's and plundered the Pirates. Our ladies tennis team is back on their home court against Mesa Ridge on Thursday at 345. The ladies varsity soccer team traveled to Woodland Park but returned with a loss. Our ladies varsity soccer team play the Elizabeth Cardinals in Elizabeth at 4 p.m. today and take on Mitchell on Thursday here at home at 4 p.m. Finally, GLADS, our baseball team clashed with the TCA Titans on Tuesday and added a W to their record. The baseball team is on the road on Friday in Woodland Park at 4 p.m. Good luck to all of our sports teams this week. Now here's Doc with a brief message about sunscreen use. Hey 
Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So we're getting into springtime, although it may not always seem like that, but let's talk a little bit about skin protection. So most of the time we think hot sun, we need to be wearing sunscreen. Where in actuality, you need to wear sunscreen all the time, even when it's cloudy outside. Those clouds can actually reflect the sun's rays and make them more intense. The ultraviolet rays from the sun are what cause skin problems like skin cancer after we've been exposed to so much ultraviolet light throughout our days. So to protect against this, it's best to start wearing sunscreen from an early age. So if you guys can put it on every day, it becomes a habit. And then as you work your way into the sunshine of spring and summer, it'll be something that you don't forget to do. So make sure you're wearing your sunscreen and have fun out there. Thank you, Doc. Remember, students, always use sunscreen regardless of the weather to protect your skin now and later. Have a great week. I'm John Christofferson. Back to you, Anthony and Jaden. Thanks, John. Juniors and seniors, the prom is next week, and it's time to nominate your prom court king and queen. Nominations started on Monday and end tomorrow. Come down to the small gym to nominate your candidate. Remember, only juniors and seniors can nominate. Next week on Wednesday and Thursday, you can vote for your prom candidates for king and queen. Voting will take place in the auditorium at lunch. Blast from the Past is on Saturday, April 22nd at the Doubletree Hotel. Dinner starts at 6.30 p.m. and the dance goes to midnight. Remember your, your guest passes are due this Friday, April 14th. Prom tickets are currently $50 and the last day to buy them is April 18th. Remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door. So be sure to stop by the business office to get your tickets now. Be there or be square. Ladies, Becca Closet just got some new dresses. But if, if you haven't made your appointment to check out these freeze dresses available for prom, you need to do so quickly before the best choices are gone. Contact Miss Melina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library to make your appointments at lunch, advisory, or after school. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Lads, if you are asking someone to prom and would like a picture of your prom proposal to be in the yearbook, see Sierra Perea or Kiana Dooley at lunch in room 104. Students. If you need help with a subject, NHS students are offering tutoring during advisory. Stop by the library to sign up for a time on Wednesday and get a pass for Thursday. You'll be able to use computers at this time too. Check it out. That's all we have for you today. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Anthony Berkey. And I'm Jada McDonald, and this was your KWHS News.